Hey guys, this is Mr. Geist for Algebra 2 Unit 1.4 Notes, Day 1. Today we're going to be talking about graphing and writing equations of vertical and horizontal lines. Our learning target today is to be able to graph and write equations of vertical and horizontal lines. So, just remember that vertical and horizontal lines do not have a traditional slope-intercept form of equations. So, what that pretty much means is uh, it looks a little bit different. So, a vertical line. Remember, the V in vertical, we talked about this in class, goes up and down. And my pen is not the right one. Hold on. Okay, so when you think of that V, I want you to think straight up and down. So, when it asks you to graph a line uh, for x equals just you need to pay attention to what variable it is and if it's vertical i know that it's going to look like it's going up and down vertically okay so if you can't visualize that in your head right away i think it's very important to create a quick table okay i know that no matter what my x is going to be negative 4 because well, that's what the equation told me, x is negative 4, and then pick a negative, pick 0, and then pick a positive, and you can graph those. So I've got negative 4, negative 3, negative 4, 0, and negative 4, positive 3. Once you've got those three points, you can see that, oh yeah, look, it makes a vertical line. And then we're going to draw our line and um, the lines. Okay, the arrows. All right, so once again, look to see what variable is by itself. And I know that no matter what, x is going to be 7. Pick a negative, 0, and a positive. So 7, negative 5, 7, 0. 7, positive 5, and then once again, I'm using my straight edge, and there's my line. Okay? All right, horizontal lines. Okay, we talked about being on the horizon, so it's going to go straight across. And we also talked about how that first letter is an H. And if you picture H really, really long, it's going to go from left to right. It's a horizontal line. Okay? So if we're going to do the same thing, graph with the table, there's my X, there's my Y, no matter what. Y is going to be 6 because the Y is by itself. And then I'm going to do the same thing, a negative, 0, and a positive. So negative 5, 6, 0, 6, and 5, 6. There you go. There's my vertical line. Next one. There's my x. There's my y. My y is negative 8. That's what they tell me. And then it doesn't matter. Just pick a negative, 0, and a positive. So we've got negative 4, negative 8, 0, 8 and 4, 8. And then I'm using my straight edge to go. Oh, that wasn't there, Mr. Grace. Just off. There it is. That's better. OK. So it says write the equation of the line below. So right away, I know that this is a what type of line? This is a vertical line, okay? And of course, my computer's being a bit slow today because it's Monday. So this is a vertical line. So if I know it's a vertical line, I know it's going to be x equals. So I'm going to come right here. I'm going to write x equals. And then where am I at on that vertical line? Well, just count it. So there's 5, 
six, seven, eight. X equals eight. All right. Number two. Number two from left to right. This is a horizontal line. Come on, computer. Okay. So if it's a horizontal line. So when it's horizontal, I know it's going to be y equals. And what does y equal? Where is it on the axis? It's, well, it's 1, 2. So y equals 2. All right, number 3 and 4, why don't you pause the video and do that one yourself. Good luck. All right, for number three, it should be y equals negative seven, and four, x equals negative three. All right. So we have a nice little uh, review of some problems we've been working on. It says to graph each line. So it's in y equals mx plus b, so I'm going to look at my slope, which is six over seven, which means I'm going up six and to the right seven and my y-intercept is 0, 8. So I go to 0, 8. I cannot go up because I'm all the way at the top, so I need to do the opposite. So instead of going up and to the right, I'm going to go down 6 and then to the left 7. And since I went negative, 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 negative makes a positive. So I've got my straight edge, draw my line, and add my arrows. All right, so number six, we need to solve. Okay, so if I'm going to be solving, I need to get my y by itself. So the first thing I'm going to do is add the x to the other side, and those cancel. So we get 16y equals 8x minus 48. To solve, I need to divide everything by 16, so my y is by itself. Reduce your fraction. 8 over 16 is 1 half x. And negative 48 divided by 16, I'm just going to double check that in my calculator. I think it's 3, but it's early, so I want to make sure I get it right. And I'm right. So we got negative 3. So that tells me that my slope is 1 half and that my y-intercept is 0, negative 3. So it's 0, negative 3 is where I start, and I'm going up 1 over 2, and I'm going to do that in both directions. Okay? And now that I've got that, I'm using my straight edge. And there we go. Okay. Number seven. Now, number seven, we need to distribute. Okay, we got to get rid of parentheses. So we have y plus four on the left side, negative five thirds x. Negative times the negative is positive. And now I'm doing five over three times six to get 10. All right, the y is not by itself, so I have to subtract the 4 to the other side, and those cancel. And y equals negative 5 thirds x plus 6. So my slope is a negative 5 over 3, which means I'm going down 5 to the right 3. And then we start at 0, 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 over 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 over 3. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 over 3. Okay. Yep, that looks good. Okay. I can't go up and to the left because that point is so high. So I'm going to draw my line. And add my arrows. All right, let's flip it over. So y equals negative 4. Now, the first thing I know about it is that there's only one variable. It's y. And when it's y, it's a 
horizontal line. Okay? So if you know that it's a horizontal line, you can go straight to negative 4. You know that it's horizontal. Oop, maybe if you make it straight. Sorry. Line up my straight edge. And there we go. Okay? And if you're like, oh, Mr. Grice, that's too hard. I don't know if I can just go straight to that line like that. Well, that's fine. Then make your graph, okay? Do your little table. You know that y is negative 4. And just pick some points, okay? Negative 5, 0, and 5. And if you look at it, negative 5, 4, 0, negative 4, and 5, negative 4 are all on that horizontal line, okay? All right, number 9. Number nine, we have to distribute the four-fifths. So we have y plus 2 equals four-fifths x plus 4 times 5 is 20. 20 divided by 5 is 4. And remember, if you can't do that, please use your calculator. y is not by itself, so I'm subtracting the 2. And then we get our slope of four-fifths. And then my y-intercept of 0, 2. So this is telling me to go up 4 over 5. So there's 0, 2. 1, 2, 3, 4 over 5. 1, 2, 3, 4 over 5. And I'm going to go in both directions. And then I'm going to draw my line. Number 10. Ooh, 10. I only see one variable. Okay, so that's going to be a special case. And when it's x, it's going to be a vertical line. Okay, so if you can, if you want to, you can go straight to where 6 is, and it's a vertical line. Okay, and once again, if you're like, oh, man, I just... I just don't know the difference between those. Okay, draw your table. You know that x is going to be 6. So I'm going to go negative 3, 0, and 3. 6, negative 3 is right here. 6, 0, and 6, 3. Okay? All right, number 11. Which of the following equations represents the line graphed? Select all that apply. Now, right away, I know that it's not going to be A, because A would need to be a horizontal line. It's not horizontal, okay? So, things that I notice right away is that my y-intercept is 0, 6. And that my slope is positive, and it's 3 over 4. So if I were to write that, it would need to be y equals 3 over 4x plus 6. Okay? So this is what we are looking for. So right away, well, delta B is. Woohoo! But I don't know about these other ones, which probably means I'm going to have to solve. Okay. So for C... We have 4y plus 3x equals negative 24. To solve that, I want to get the y by itself, so I'm going to subtract the 3x to the other side. And we get 4y equals negative 3x minus 24. And to get the y by itself, I need to divide. And when I start dividing, I realize that my slope is a negative 3 fourths x, and it's minus 6. So C is not an answer. What about D? We have negative 6x minus 8y equals negative 48. 
and we're going to do the same thing. Okay, we have to solve. So I'm going to add the 6x to the other side, and we get negative 8y equals negative 6x minus 48, and I need to divide by negative 8y. Negative divided by negative is a positive, and you do, if you don't know that, just be like, okay, well, I've got negative 6, and I'm dividing it by negative 8. I can't have a decimal, and I get a positive 3 fourths, which is what we need. And then hopefully you know negative 48 divided by negative 8. If not, just use your calculator, and we get positive 6. And was that what we were looking for? Woohoo, they match. So I know that D is the correct answer. And now for the last one, E, Y minus 15 equals 3 fourths X minus 12. Yep, gonna have to solve this one. Sorry, I forgot to put the parentheses. Go ahead and distribute. which gives us 3 fourths x, and let's see, in parentheses, 3 over 4 times 12 gives us 9, and that's going to be a negative 9, and then add 15 to the other side, and we get y equals 3 fourths x, and then negative 9, plus 15. Well, what do you know? It's a positive 6. And is that what we needed? Yep. There we go. And that's it. Well, guys, if you have any questions, please come see Ms. Kranz or myself. Otherwise, this is Mr. Grace signing off for Algebra 2, Unit 1.4, Notes, Day 1. Thanks for watching.